Hey you guys, my name is Girlie. I am a visual artist from Central Florida. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys how I made these beautiful laminated stickers using my Cricut. So these are the materials that you will be needing. You will need sticker paper, a lamination machine, lamination pouches. You will need a printer, copy paper, scissors, and a PNG file or an SVG file of your choice. For this video, I will be using a PNG file. And of course, you will need your Cricut machine. In order to use your Cricut, you will need Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new project. And I'm going to upload my file. This is a cutout of a painting that I created. I use Procreate to erase the outline. When you upload your file, you want to make sure you select print to then cut. So now we're going to add the outline of the sticker. I'm going to go to edit and then click offset. It's up to you how thick you want your outline to be. I'm just going to do 0 0.249 inches. I think, oh yeah, I like that. So now I have my offset or my outline. I need to change the color. So I'm going to click edit again. Then I am going to click the color and I'm going to select white. Next, I'm going to flatten my image so that it can be all together when cut. Okay, that red exclamation mark is telling me that the image is too big. So I'm going to size it down. I usually like to keep my stickers around two by three inches, but it's up to you what size you would like your stickers. So now I'm going to duplicate it until I reach my max limit of the stickers I can cut at a time. The machine I'm using is Cricut Maker. Oh, and I almost forgot I have to save my project so that I can use it in the future. I like to click save to the cloud so that I can also access my project on multiple devices. So next thing I am going to do, I'm going to print my image out. I'm just going to click send to printer. So this is a sticker paper that I use. I will link this down below in the description box. And the printer that I have is the Epson Workforce 7820. So my size of my paper is letter size and I will select glossy. I think glossy paper works best with lamination. I have not tried matte paper, so definitely use glossy paper when you're making your sticker. Now I have my image printed out and it's time to laminate it. This is where the copy paper comes in. I'm just going to use regular copy paper to protect the back part of my sticker. You can also use another sticker sheet to save lamination pouches, but it's totally up to you. So now I make sure that my laminator is ready to go. What I'm doing here is just making sure that it's aligned, making sure that it's no debris or dust that is inside of the lamination pouch. And then I'm just going to run it through my laminator. So now it's laminated. I'm going to take my scissor and cut around the edges. As you can see, only the front part of my sticker paper is laminated and the back is regular. That's what we want. So that's where the copy paper comes in handy. So now I'm going to stick it onto my mat. It has fairly good grip. This is a pretty new mat. If it doesn't have grip, I highly recommend for you to tape it down to the mat or else it will slip while you are cutting. So, okay, so I'm going to head back to Cricut Design Space and select the setting that I want to use for the Cricut to cut. The setting that I use is Magnetic Sheet. So now I am loading my mat and I'm just going to wait for the Cricut light to flash and once I click that it's time to cut. I highly recommend to watch your 
project as it's cutting because there are times where something could happen where the paper could slip off so you definitely want to keep an eye on your machine while it's cutting so now we're all done i'm gonna unload it and now we have these beautiful beautiful stickers i love this part this is my favorite part y'all i love doing this so when it comes to removing your stickers, I highly recommend to curve the mat instead of the actual stickers. That way you can keep the stickers flat. And as you can see, you have beautiful laminated stickers. They are waterproof, scratch proof. I am just so obsessed with how they came out. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, definitely drop it down below in the comments. Most of the material that I use for this video will be linked below in the description box and don't forget to subscribe because i will be dropping more tutorials bye